treat. I'm doing the crazy eye hug. So for the next little while, you're gonna be watching me do one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, and that is sleep. And although I love sleeping so much, like literally, I would just sleep for the whole day if I could. I haven't had a chance to do that for a while, but that would be like my dream. Despite that, I actually have a lot of trouble falling asleep sometimes. Just anxious or stressed, and when there's a lot going on in my life, always thinking about the things I shouldn't be thinking about at night, freaking myself out, and it's just really impossible to get a good night's sleep. So if you've ever experienced this, this video is going to help you guys. So today I'm going to be going through 20 life hacks to help you relax and fall asleep. And while I was filming this video, it was hilarious because my cats had no trouble falling asleep. We can get this video to 150,000 thumbs up. You guys can because you guys are the most awesomest. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Let's go. Having some white noise around really helps you sleep, but not the sudden annoying ones such as cars, noisy neighbors, or wildlife. These kind of noises are disruptive because they surprise your senses and jolt you out of your relaxed state. The best way to counter this is to turn on some white noise yourself, whether this is a calming music track or the TV at low volume, and you can actually pop your headphones on. The headphones ensure that the outside noise won't disrupt you, and it kind of acts like earplugs. My favorite noises are probably rain drop sounds. Rainy days are one of the most relaxing kind of times and really makes me want to crawl into bed and sleep. So I found out that there's a magic sleep button in the middle of our foreheads. There's a pressure point between our eyes that's called the third eye, appropriately of course. And it's said to relieve anxiety, fear and depression and also help with insomnia. Same spot as well if you want to put essential oils to help you sleep. One of the oils that's known to make you fall asleep easier is jasmine oil. This might sound a little bit strange, but you can try blinking really quickly for 60 seconds. Tired eyes will help you sleep faster, which is true. Now, I'm not sure if there's any evidence behind this one, but I tried it anyways. Blinking during the daytime was pretty uncomfortable, but blinking in the dark was absolutely fine, and my eyes actually did feel kind of tired afterwards. Let me know if it works for you. You weren't looking for me. Did you know there's a theoretical perfect temperature to fall asleep? Studies have shown that setting your room temperature to 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius helps you sleep fastest. That's kind of cold, but this is because your body's core temperature actually drops as you go to sleep, so setting a cooler room temperature will help your body cool down faster. If you don't have a thermostat, you can try sticking your feet out from underneath the blankets or your arm or whatever, this is what I normally do, or buy a doona with a low warmth rating or direct a fan towards you. Keep in mind this is an average and everybody's perfect temperature temperature is slightly different, so find one that's right for you. I have a feeling my perfect temperature is actually pretty high because I like being super warm when I sleep. So you can try this meditation technique. All you need to do is work your way down your body, focusing and consciously relaxing each muscle in your body. If you're having trouble doing this, you can actually tense the muscles first and then relax it. When you finish, your whole body should be relaxed and you should just float off into sleep. A spoonful of honey before bed has been shown to drastically improve your night's sleep. And an even better way to have this is to combine it with some warm soy milk or milk and vanilla which will help you fall asleep faster. This is definitely a case where the old wives tale actually has some truth to it. Milk and soy milk have an ingredient called tryptophan which is a natural calming agent that relaxes your body without medication. That is why I always feel sleepy after a cup of milk. your bed for a place to sleep and uh, another certain activity but try not to do anything else in bed like watch movies or eat food or other exciting attention grabbing activities also only wear your PJs before it's time to sleep and this helps condition your brain to know that when you're in PJs and you're going to bed it's time for your body to wind down and get into sleep mode
this is gonna be my favorite one because apparently petting your cat helps you get to sleep. For those lucky enough to have a pet, it has been shown that petting your furry little friend before sleep is a great way to distress and calm your body for a peaceful sleep and apparently a cat's purr is really one of the best stress relieving sounds ever. It also takes you away from doing other potentially stimulating activities and uh, you can try a soft toy if you don't have a cat. If you like sleeping on your side, try sleeping on your left side. Apparently sleeping on the right can lead to acid reflux and gastrointestinal problems because of the way your stomach is orientated, which can interfere with a good night's sleep. Also, if you happen to be pregnant, sleeping on the right can interfere with blood flow to your heart, which sounds pretty bad and dangerous, so left side it is. Try eating some tart cherries before bed. These fruits are one of the few natural sources of melatonin which can help you regulate your circadian rhythm and get you on a regular consistent sleep schedule. You can also get melatonin in a tablet but I much prefer eating cherries. Being in a pitch black dark room also helps you produce melatonin. <laughs> There's actually a specific breathing pattern that is meant to induce sleepiness, which I thought sounded too good to be true. Basically, you need to breathe for 4 seconds, hold it for 7, then breathe out over 8 seconds. You need to do this 4 times and you should feel more relaxed. The exact reason why this works is a little bit unclear, but it seems to be related to a meditation breathing technique that focuses on relaxation. And breathing exercises in general are really awesome to get into. Take a hot bath or shower before you sleep. I know some people shower at night and others in the morning, but if you're undecided, this is a good reason to bathe at night. The reason this helps you sleep faster is that your body temperature rises during your bath and then the rapid temperature drop after you get out is similar to the temperature drop that occurs before you sleep, which makes you feel sleepy and relaxed. Put away all your electronics at least 30 minutes before sleeping. Numerous studies have shown that blue light from electronic devices disrupts your ability to relax and sleep. But some people like myself actually do wind down on their phone or iPad sometimes, so what then? There's actually an app called Twilight that removes all emitted blue light from your screens, which for me is totally game changing. And you can actually set it so this automatically turns on at a certain time of night. <laughs> Try having a bowl of oatmeal. Not only does it help you sleep, but it also helps with weight loss and lowering cholesterol. Oats contain both magnesium and calcium, which are two minerals important for restful nights. Magnesium has a calming effect on the body and is also an important building block for melatonin, and a deficiency of magnesium can be one of the causes of insomnia. <laughs> Do the cognitive shuffle. You need to imagine random objects one after another, like say, unicorn, cat, toaster, or just random stuff. This works because often the reason we can't sleep is that our brains are still thinking about all the problems of the day, which I do every single night, and not letting itself wind down. This activity signals to the brain that there are no more important things to think about for the day because the objects are so random and unconnected that the brain feels like it can officially sign off for the night. The other way to do this is use a word like unicorn and imagine as many objects starting with each letter as possible. <laughs> If you're having trouble sleeping, put your legs up against your headboard or wall. This actually comes from a yoga pose, not surprisingly called legs up the wall. Very, very clever with their names. A Harvard study actually showed that people who practice yoga for eight weeks slept far better than people who didn't, but also found that if you didn't have enough time to practice yoga, just this single pose would be enough to help. This pose relieves stress, but also takes strain off your lower back muscles. And it's pretty easy to do. Yours, on stars, 
One of the best ways to fall asleep is to get a massage with some aromatherapy. I actually have fallen asleep pretty much every time I go and get a massage, so this definitely works. Getting your bae to help you with this is ideal, but if not, you can still apply a few drops of essential oils onto your pillow for a relaxing effect. And the other thing I love to use is this eye massager as well, which really pops me to sleep straight away. I literally drift off before the 10 minute session is up. <laughs> When you can't sleep and you want to toss and turn, try not to, it won't help. I've done it enough times to know that tossing and turning only makes you even more restless. Just continue to be as still as you can and eventually the sensation of restlessness will pass. Maybe you can bind it with some other hacks and fall asleep. <laughs> Most people set an alarm to wake up, but you should also try setting an alarm to tell you when to sleep. Or at least tell you when you should start getting ready for sleep. I am super bad at this and I always go to bed way too late. Science has shown that sleeping at the same time every day helps to regulate your circadian rhythm, which helps your body know when it's time to go to sleep. So I had so much fun filming this video because I just got to lie in bed. As we have like seven days to go before the next video. So if you guys can't wait, join me on my Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and my social medias because I update that during the week with a bunch of random things that happen. I miss you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Love you! <laughs>